All right, we'll start from the beginning. Audio. Up here will be your settings page, settings button. Equalizer, bass, treble, whatnot. Bose Audio Pilot is the best music. Go back home, here's your home button. Or here's also your home button, so either one would bring you there. Phone, tap on that, follow the instructions, open up settings on your phone and pair your phone. Maps, you get three years of Google integration. If you use Google Maps on your phone, you can also use your phone to log in. So I'll go to settings, turn on, done, close, and then this will fade away. All right. If you want to log into your Google histories, hit that. And you can sign into Google iPhone or Android, you could choose to log in to your Google histories using a QR code. Or if you know your Google password, you can also enter it that way. Sign in with Android, sign in with iPhone, or you can sign in on your car screen. Uh, cameras, you know, when you back up, it's going to default to that. If you don't want uh, the surround vision on, you turn it off right there. The drone view in case you have to pull up real close to something when you're pulling up four feet from a heavy tongue trailer hit this one and there would be your hitch ball right in the middle of the screen and trailer lights plug in any trailer hit run a light test and it'll tell you any bulb on your trailer light is out vehicle settings I don't like, that's a seatbelt reminder in case you need a reminder to put your seatbelt on. Climate and air quality, I kind of like where it is right there. Safety, we have the rumble seat, I got all automatic braking on. Comfort and convenience, there's that hands free, kick under that symbol that lights up on the ground. Rain sensing wipers where you turn it on or off. I don't like that one to be on. When you hit lock and walk away at night, I'll leave it if you want the headlights to stay on for 30 seconds. That's if you want the key fobs to go to different seat positions, but usually it's just you driving the car. Make it so you don't get a blast full of radio when you get off the golf course. That's if you use any Alexa. Let me go back home. If you remember how to program garage doors, you hold your garage door clicker up, up here within an inch of the ceiling. Push and hold your clicker while you push and hold which button you want to program. Hold both buttons in for five seconds. Obviously, you can program three different garage doors. And let me pause here. They just paged me. I thank the drivers here to come bring your car to Kansas. Thank you for your business again.